I loaded a man lab first impression time. Woo! So yes, everyone, here we are with the first impression of a brand new season, and we're kicking off with horror media piece. So you can say man lab. So why you call this a first impression? Didn't you? I don't know. React to the main series literally like three years ago. Well, yes, I did react to horror media. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, by the way. But let's just say I have a quite a mixed feeling to how they end the season, especially with the final four episode, especially how I've been hearing from manga reader that they literally cut chapter to the very last chapter of the series so yeah basically the finale of season one or basically only season was literally the final chapter of horror mia and a lot of fans were very pissed about it and i don't think they would stop complaining to it for the past like two years and of course you can say global work say you know what you know all these fans have been complaining about adaptation for horror mia one of the most popular romance series why not make them you know happy again by adapting the missing pieces for the series get it missing pieces so yeah basically this is whole season itself is to compensate for the crying fan and we're gonna basically see the stuff that we saw from the credit from the final episode being adapted properly this time into this well so-called spin-off season which is basically adapting the missing pieces from the manga so yeah basically this is not a sequel it's more like a semi prequel series i mean i'm pretty sure they can already have some original stuff to the end of the season but i got say man i'm expecting some very fun wholesome stuff for this series because you can say we already know how the series end already so we're just gonna expect them to have some wholesome stuff like the sports festival thing that a lot of people are looking forward to and of course maybe other like stuff like valentine's day and stuff like that so yeah i got say man looking forward to check out this missing piece season and of course you can say i've given this the first impression because i don't really see myself doing a whole like a whole season reaction to it instead i could be doing short for this instead starting next week but we just have to see man. so that said let's dive into the first episode of the so-called missing piece season shall we Alright, yeah, and let's get started with some horny Mia greatness after three years since the end of well let's just say the only season of horror Mia, or should say the franchise in general well i mean to be honest when they announced this like i think it was doing anime japan or was it even last year i was like why well, was this really necessary but you know they have to do this for the fans the fans weren't too happy with the adaptation actually like i said in the intro this is made for the crying fans so with that here we play and when i say that manga readers oh my god they're rubbing salt to the manga readers by showing us the graduation scene again it was not meant to like get, go right into it already because they were expecting this to have like two seasons three seasons but instead one season and cutting out a lot of content and and that's why they had to make this season to compensate for like the missing characters the missing plot the missing wholesome plot and more of this sort of like character development like the character development after like you know hori and Mio Mio's sex scene was like not really satisfying to be honest like they give a lot of characters the moment but i want to see more of hori and miyamura but instead they just like skip chapters cut content okay let's just see whether the opening for this well sequel or prequel will be somewhat better than the first one okay i'm loving this instrumental holy i think it's the same like singer doing the opening it has to be because i recognize the voice yo i gotta say man the instrumental is once again so good man oh yes there we go oh whoa Dude, I, I am actually dancing to this opening. Holy cow, I'm loving it. Yo, the visuals are impressive by Cloverworks, as always. Ooh, that smile. Oh, my God. Yo, this opening is a class, man. I think this could be the top five opening already for the season. Dude, the song, the visuals, the pacing, the transition. Oh, love it. Yo. The visuals, man. They're doing justice to the series again. Hey. Dude, they're doing justice, man. I'm loving this opening. Very wholesome. So, like I said, the opening is telling us that it's going to be wholesome. Mostly going to be wholesome for the season. Like, you know, adapting, like, the summer festival, the school trip, the maybe, like, the sports festival, too. Or me a piece. Hmm. <laughs> So they actually did going through the album, the yearbook, just to go through the, to the best moment, and we they're gonna adapt those moments. Ah, so I see the strategy to this now. I see the strategy.
So I guess this is when Miyamura cut it before he like became a cool Miyamura by cutting his hair. I mean his hair is still long like looking like a geek though. But we all know what he looks like outside of school with his tattoo and stuff. Uh huh. Oh yeah, that's the problem. Changing clothes. People will see his tattoo. <laughs> I mean, I think Miyamura might as well just like wait for everyone to finish and they can like just say he can just go by himself like in the middle of the night. I mean, it's good to see our lovely supporting character again, especially Yuki. Uh-huh. I mean, why not? You're in Kyoto, right? You might as well buy sweets already. Just, you know, the, the sweets in Kyoto taste really good. So... Oh, they're in the hotel already. Okay, this should be fun. Will we get to see some fan service? Hmm, maybe. Oh, yes, please do some fan service stuff, man. What? Oh, what? It oh, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, he was a furry fall right into sleep, huh? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. oh no. It oh no. They're taking a bath. Oh boy. Oh no. He's gonna expose his badass tattoos, man. No. Yeah, there you go. Oh, so it's before, it's after that. Okay. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh my god. Boys don't have periods, man. No. But... Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. I love it. I love it. Wait, what? You know what's funny? The uh, the first voice actor for Miyamura was Matsuka, and if Matsuka stays at Miyamura and Hori and Hori remain as Homer Haruka Tomatsu, I am making the shit out of me of the fact that this is Kirito and Asuna in another life. But seriously, he did you took a bath in a girl's room? Oh, cool. I thought they're dating already, so it's fine, right? It's fine, they're dating.
Dude. Dude. I think they're dating or they're not dating. Oh, the blush is cute, man. The blush is cute. I mean, at least Miyamura is not that tough sort of guy that can take advantage of a girl being alone in a room, though. He's a very nice guy. Good guy. He is. Good guy. So I always say that this is like they are like not dating, but she's having feelings for him. Mm hmm. Dude, why do you scream so loud seeing that my <laughs> Why do you, I guess, I didn't call Michael out so loud? I mean, when I first saw Michael, I was just like, get out of here. Oh. Oh, see, dude, why don't you just wait with that then? Oh my god, I just knew you can take a bath in the middle of the night, man. Like, oh my god, she just wanted him to come to his room. <laughs> dude, this guy, dude, Hori is so, like, oh, horny for him, man. Dude, she's so horny for him. I love it. Hey, that's from the trailer. Love it. A very wholesome picture, I would say. I mean, in the end, though, they made memories. So, this is all they care for, man. So, one memory down. What's the next memory? What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, this is like a time jump. Time jump, man. Love it. I just told so they're skipping chapters again, huh? <laughs> Dude. They're literally skipping chapters. Ah, uh, here we go. But like I said, this season is mostly like compensating for fans for missing chapters. So they might as well go for it. Why did you go to clinic? Wow, she's sharp, man. Dude, she's sharp. Oh, shit. <laughs> Busted. Busted. Oh, Busted. Busted. Man, this girl, man. This girl, seriously. Hmm. What? <laughs> hey, every anime boy look like a girl in this series if they put on a wig. <laughs> a good a good example for that, Shido. <sighs> Wait, what? Why? 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 What the fuck? Why? Just why? Why, why, why? Dude. Dude, are you kidding me? No way. 
Is he cosplaying as a girl? Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Ah, uh, busted. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god. Dead. Dead. Oh, d thank god that was a pass. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, seriously. They're going through some high school clothing fatigue again. Dude, the fetish for these clothing is crazy, man. No, what? Why? To be honest though, it's summer, so they have to wear something short. He's the only guy wearing a jacket because of his tattoo. And Hor is listening. Of course she is. Uh... <laughs> oh no, she's gonna force him to wear something strange now. Oh no. Oh no. I guess the o <laughs> I mean, you can always wear like a, you know, a scuba diving suit if he's that desperate. Or you can wear like the Michael Phelps or like in a swimming suit. Ah, seriously? Really? Really? Disgusting, man. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, this show don't mess with the comedy, man. I love it. Oh, that's some lame excuse, man. Exactly right. The school always has something prepared for students. Dude, no matter how much excuse you guys are gonna have, you guys will be forced to go swimming. I mean, Japan's an island, so they had to learn the basics to survive. Dude, they're literally coming up with some of the weirdest excuse, man. Just go for it, man. Just wear like a tight suit or something. Like, like a, you know, a sweat suit.
Oh, that's very considerate of him. Oh my god, this is a very wholesome season for real, man. What, what? Oh... So that's how they can get away with it, is by doing chores, cleaning the pool. Of course. Of course, man. The way to get out of it is by doing the side chores. Very effective strategy. Hey! <laughs> Hey, Hori. Um, okay. <laughs> there, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, Japan loves to be clean, okay? Messiah! <laughs> Messiah! <laughs> Messiah, right? <laughs> Yeah, he can't swim. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> period again? Why do I have period, okay? Oh my god, dude. The comedy don't miss, man. The comedy just stays consistent. Love it. Okay, so... Welcome back to Horror Mia, or should I say, The Missing Pieces. Well, I mean, to be honest, I can I can definitely tell that this is going to be a very wholesome season where we could see some like very funny moments and very, you know, very friendship is manly so moments. I mean, mostly I'm watching this mostly enjoying the comedy, the romance between Ori and Miyamura, even though we already know that they have sex already and they're already at a very, well, um, solid relationship to the point where Hori no, it kind of enjoys being hit by Miyamura. Remember this guy, she is a sadist, man. She loves to be hurt. So, I'm uh, not sure how I, uh, I'm not supposed to be saying that, but well, I guess you can say in this case, those two are just going to have some more moments for us to enjoy for this season. It's 13 episodes apparently, so 
Well, I mean, enough to like adapt some of the better chapters that many people are looking forward to. So I'm happy for the manga readers that they got what they want in the end, even though, you know, the ending of season one, which is the only season, was enough to say, yep, yeah, bye bye, no more horror Mia. But uh, for me though, I guess that guys, this show is something uh, it's best to watch in my own time, or I can make a YouTube short for it. So hope you guys look for, look out for that because like. For a series like this, where they adapt some random chapters, I think it's best if we actually like just focus on the best part of individual episodes. So starting next week, I'll just go back. I'm going to make a YouTube show for it. Like I said, guys, this season, I'm not trying to do a lot of animes because I'll be very, very, very busy with my, a lot of stuff I'm doing for this next three months. So that's why I need to cut down a lot of animes and one of the cut down will be this anime. But you guys just for, for any people that's new to my channel, I was still gonna make YouTube short for it. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, of course. But yeah, guys, hey man, it's very nice to have horror me a back end. Global works the amazing job with the animation again, the comedy hits, and well, uh, just another good adaptation in this case. So with that said, hope you guys enjoy reaction, smash the button, and I'll see you guys next week for some horror Mia YouTube shorts. Jenny!